Hello, welcome. My name is Robert Mazarek, and I warmly welcome you to the Mr. Battery Channel. A friend of mine visited me. Neither a super friend nor a very good buddy, just an acquaintance I have known for years, and to this person I made an offer a few days earlier for 100A, our batteries made using AGM technology. And that person came and told me, and I appreciate Robert, I won't buy those batteries from you because I found 200 cheaper batteries. On the portal, of course, on Allegro, I will buy it directly from the seller's page because it turns out that I will simply pay much cheaper shipping outside of Allegro. I asked what kind of battery it is. We watched Red, and I asked him how urgent this purchase was for him. He asked what it was about. I said, listen, how can I buy this battery with my own money? I say before you spend on four batteries because he was creating a small off-grid installation at 48V. I will buy this one battery at my own expense. I can afford it, and I will do some tests on it and let you know what it's worth because it's not about you buying from me, but I like you, I appreciate your honesty, and if it turns out that this battery is good, I will simply sell you that one for a small discount since I, so to speak, tested it a few times, and you can buy the other three, and at least you will have a 100% certainty that you bought a good battery. I bought this battery, and I really like the description because... It states that it is produced on modern production lines, suitable for both buffer operation and characteristic cyclic use, but it does not mention where it is produced. I love this marketing nonsense, I mentioned it before, but I give it a chance. 25 kilos for cyclic work, charging at 14.4, 14.8V, 100A. It wasn't specified according to any standard, whether C20, C10 or C5, but let's assume C20. It will be nice for this battery that it is suitable for electric vehicles, motorcycles, quads, scooters, go-karts, boats, motorcycles, and solar battery systems. This is what convinced my friend. The battery arrives and I put it on the scale. Instead of 25 kilos, we see 23.5 kilos. It's missing 1.5 kilo, but that's not really a big problem. I connected this battery to the guitar to check its parameters as a cyclic AGM. The voltage is 12.92, nice. So sea level at 100% charging SOH 63%. This was the first such puzzling observation, but I decided that I would charge and discharge it anyway. It will probably balance out. Internal resistance is 6.8 milliohms. I had the Lavanda B200 next to me and I said I'll connect it to 100A, even to 1000A because it's a great battery. It probably has that much to check its short circuit current and that's exactly what I did for 1000A and it doesn't really matter because the Lavanda only draws just under 200A for 30 seconds. And you can see in the end it shows us that this battery could be estimated for short circuit current as 1061H. But very, very low, almost dramatically low, the voltage dropped during this test because the lowest reading registered was 0.73V. During the test I used 7 or 16 coulombs set to 14.7V and 16A. Each charging session was conducted so that at the end of the day I connected this battery and left it for between 12 and 16 hours. 12 hours minimum. 16 times 10 is a 160 for a couple of hours. It was definitely charged after 10 hours. However, I didn't really keep track of those extra 2, 3 or 4 hours with a stopwatch. The batteries were charged for a minimum of 12 hours and a maximum of 14 hours, always with the same approach. And now, after such a charge, I will show you the parameters. 1327V, SOC 27.0V, SOC 100%. 100%, SOH 64%, increased by 1%, a very nice trend, and the internal resistance dropped to 6.7 mLs and also a very nice trend. I connected the charge battery to A, of course to none other than the Alpha Beta Pro. Discharged this battery, and then connected the discharge battery once again to the Coulon. A7 or 16. I charged it again and discharged it again. I did this 21 times. I charged and discharged this battery 21 times. And I came to some conclusions. I will now show you a table with two graphs, a blue line and also blue, those tall diagrams or tall lines, and a red line. This will represent the time in minutes that the battery discharged. The red will represent the capacity according to the C20 standard for this battery. And I will focus here on the capacity expressed in ampere-hours, as this will be the easiest for you to understand. 
Look, this is how it looks. At the top, you have this table from test 1 to test 21, RC in minutes, which ranges from 132 to some recorded minutes and amp hours. After the first discharge, the capacity was 75.7, after the second 77, after the third 77.2, and after the fourth 84.7. Most batteries activate and the capacity will increase. It is exactly as I write in the books, that most batteries wake up to this work and that capacity will increase. Well, in the fourth test, I noted 82.6, a small difference from 2AH. In the sixth, it was 81.8, and I started to think. In the seventh, 80.3A. In the eighth, 75.5A. Then in the ninth, it bounced upwards to 79.3. I was pleased, but in the tenth, 68.7A. 80, 30, dollar 30, 5, 5. In the eleventh test, 68.3. In the twelfth, 68.2A. In the thirteenth, 69.1A. In the fourteenth, 66.8A. In the fifteenth, 63.6A. And in the sixteenth, 64.6A. In test three, 12. 20 r in test 13 69.1 a in test 14 66 80 a in test 15 63.63 in test 16 64 on 60 in test 16 64 or 60 in test 17 65.3 in test 18 the lowest parameter i have recorded so far or rather what you will see is 48.1 a in test 19 51.5 a in test 20 53.7 a in test 21 55.1 a this took me quite a bit of time, with conditions at 20 degrees regarding discharge temperature, a constant discharge current of 25 amperes, a constant charging process, and the chance of any significant errors is quite marginal. I have the same standard when it comes to this type of tests. After the 10th test, I gave my friend information on how it looked, shared information with him and said, do with it what you want. The background details are not important here. I will only say that I managed to protect him from buying a product that, in no test, even considering that we can look at the C20 capacity, showed that parameter. My standards have been the same for years, and that's just how it is. I bought this battery, I paid 529 PLN for it, and I paid 30 PLN for the delivery of this battery. Interestingly, no one wanted my used battery. Although the law clearly states that when purchasing an industrial battery, a deposit of 35 PLN in cash must be collected, or, or an old battery in that place. The standards vary. If a super professional battery seller were selling it, the deposit and the requirement for that battery would probably be mandatory. I was prepared to return the old battery. Draw your own conclusions. Over the last few years I have tested a multitude of various and different batteries from those super cheap ones appearing on Allegro, priced around 399 400 PLN, to those golden ones with big letters and large national inscriptions defining our local nationality. Really, there are a lot, a lot of batteries, and a good 80% of them are disappointing batteries that in the case of AGMs and gels shouldn't even be called that. Those that passed the tests, those that underwent examinations, everything really matched. There, except for the fact that you wouldn't be able to buy it cheaply, because a battery that has its parameters cannot be sold for 200-300 PLN, as there is no chance to buy it from the manufacturer in Asia for that kind of money. And if such super cool offers come up and they differ quite a bit, then consider in your own conscience whether it's worth it because it is not my intention to say that only I have fantastic products, that only the world of batteries from Szczecin on Grafinska is exceptional, wonderful, and that they will even serve coffee there and sell a good battery. No, that's not the point at all. There are plenty of good products on the market that are sold by very reputable sellers and so on, and there is no doubt about that. It really does not discredit many products. However, 80% is not a figure supported by any super studies, but rather my experience, from recent years. These are battery-like products that have nothing to do with what is on the labels. Besides, you are smart, you are intelligent, draw your own conclusions. If you ever find yourselves in Szczecin, remember Grafinska 106, and we can even agree that if you ever pass by and have a charged battery and an hour, two or three to spare, we can connect the Alpha Bata. During that time we will give you a broom, you can help with the cleaning, have some coffee and spend time with us so you won't have to pay for Mr. Battery's work. We can 
easily test the capacity of your batteries. Assuming, of course, that we will have time for it, because if you happen to come in the middle of winter, where the queues start from Struga and end at Grifinska 106, it can be quite difficult. However, the alphabet is quite simple to handle. At most, you will just need to keep an eye on it. That's it. Take care, best regards. Bye.